What's your category? Yeah. Do you gonna know if I can say porn in it or something? Oh, like no, oh, not talking porn. Oh no, oh, no just... category in porn. No? Oh, oh, um, big ass. Is it always black porn though? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tasty blacks. But you never tasted a black though, have you? I have. Oh, I'm a grown ass man, man. Come on. Lick pom pom. No, I'm a clip guy. Just a clip. This is crazy. No, this not is... inside though. Anything I can't see, I'm not putting my mouth on. Tottenham have got, you know, beer being made in their stadium, mm. a brewery as such, and it's only right. Do you know what a brewery is? No, I don't know what a brewery is. No. It's like a place where they make beer, I think. Oh, behind the bar and stuff? Yes, like, but yeah. before it gets there, it goes to the brewery. Mm. But guess what you do after you brew beer? You bottle it. That's a fact. I did. I did. It's Tottenham. Yeah. So I mean, there's, there's not really much more we can say about Spurs being the mm. bottlers that they are. Mm. It's like Ross, he bottled the show. Mm. Tottenham fan. You're a bunch of teapots. Teapots. Yeah. Tottenham teapots. Tottenham te teapot hotspur. That's all you fucking need, bro. You, you know, you, in you, Tottenham. You, you, exactly, a brewery. Why would you put a brewery? And in it's a Tottenham. fucking open station as well. There's no barriers. My at White Hart Lane. There are no barriers at White Hart Lane. Ask station. you for trouble. It's going to be wild. So there's no security. It's just going to be people flooding out of the station and flooding into the station drunk. There's no line. Like, you, know, you know, usually when you go to a proper station, you have to wait to get through the barriers. Bro, the barriers, there's no barriers. Their emblem, they've got, you know, a cockerel on top of a basketball. A cockerel? Is that, a, is that a, a pigeon kind of thing? Yeah. It's, I think they need to change it to a pigeon on top mm. of a <laughs> bottle. <laughs> I mean, they're making it an attraction more than actually a football team. Mm. Because who the hell goes to Tottenham to drink, to drink beer? Mm. I don't know. I don't really drink beer, bruv. So I don't really know what's going on. Uh, <sighs> bruv, I'm sorry, bruv. I don't really drink beer. I'm not a beer man. I'm not a beer man. I like water and that. This is Miles Fearon. I don't know, bruv. I don't know about Tottenham and their beers and their breweries. Do you know who done it? Harry Kane. He came and fucked everything up. Wow. Son was on fire, yeah. doing his thing, scoring braces, mm -hmm. carrying um, fucking Tottenham through Champions League, doing his thing when Harry Kane was injured. Then Harry Kane came back and fucked everything up. And since he came back, it's been trash. Harry Kane got an MBE, by the way. And that's really pissed me off because for oh, for oh, oh for his services to football. That's what that's oh, what so, oh. and what service has he serviced in football? I mean Um he scored goals. <laughs> <laughs> but Larice, you're a fool, you know why? Because I was backing you. I said you're one of the best keepers in the world. And you've been flapping lately. And that, and that, and that took a lot for me to say that. The new keepers, mm. they're getting told to, to uh, distribute. Distribute. So yeah. I don't think they're working on their other Handling side of the game. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So Okay, I blame maybe. them for that. His worst attribute as a keeper is the fact that he's French. Now we all know that how, he's the, not how French. the first and the second world war went. They are the first to bottle it. <laughs> so if you're Tottenham Hotspur, known for bottling, and then you employ a French keeper, you know what's coming. Hugo mm -hmm. L. L. O. Reese. Double L. That's your name. L. L. Cool J. It's also so called full person. The shot he took was abysmal. Yeah, terrible. It was abysmal. Terrible. But whole time Van Dyke, he did well still. The defending was amazing. He managed to control both attackers with his one body. Yeah. And his positioning was class. But that finish was an L. Do you know what it is? Virgil Van Dyke's a big man, isn't it? So I thought that man was just intimidated. Van Dyke made him have to make a decision. But then he did still give him around five yards to get his shot off. Mm, mm. So you can call it what you want. You mm. can call it great defending. And Gary Neville certainly did. In my eyes, it's shit striking. Mm. Sissoko going through on goal, it's an L. Yeah, it's an L, yeah, yeah. And 100%. Right or left foot? It, either foot. Yeah, it yeah, didn't yeah. matter. Ever, ever since he had the ball at his feet and he was running, I wasn't... You knew him. straight away yeah. from when he picked it up. Runs like Bambi. Don't, doesn't, he doesn't strive. He, the ball's just too at his feet. You know, you know when you see this? Jumping out into the road and they get hit. Definitely should have gone out to the left a bit, drawn him further out with an open space for Sun, but like he ain't very you know, football. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he yeah. didn't, like Van Dyke made his mind up for Yes, him. exactly. This reminds me of like Miles and Harry. Mm -hmm. So before Harry come, Miles was the gallest. Mm -hmm. In the uncut comments, girls, oh yeah, Miles, Miles, Miles. As soon as Harry come, Harry, 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 Harry. Mm -hmm. And Miles yeah. now doesn't know what to do himself. Yeah. So now when you watch his story, yesterday he destroyed Mother's Day. 
I didn't go and see my mum this year because of Miles' story. I didn't go see my mum either. All because Sorry, of Miles. My mum got angry at me because yeah. she heard the same, she heard it so many times. Yeah. Just want to say happy Mother's Day. My mum was vexed. Yeah. So you ruined Mother's Day for my mum. He said happy Mother's Day to his mum and then ate a strawberry in a sexy way. A strawberry stop. is an aphrodisiac. Stop. Diziac. Hey, stop. You just called Miles sexy. Hold tight, your mum. Why are you gonna hold my mum tight for? I, I wish they could cancel Mother's Day and I'd make it next Sunday, just for me. Because yeah, yeah. Miles mashed it up. Yeah. And that's how I feel, Miles has gone. I find him hilarious because he's not trying to be funny. This is just a normal person. No, Which dad. then makes me think we need to take him to, to be seen. Because clearly this behaviour is not... But that's bad because you're laughing at him. Speck said that Miles lives with his auntie's sister. He does, doesn't he? I'm going to ask you three things. Yeah. Why are them videos? Yeah. Why was you in the bathtub with a t-shirt on? Yeah. And why did you wear a fucking sombrero and eat a croissant and say happy Mother's Day? And why did you bring up the fox saying happy Mother's Day as well? Mm, that was a weird one. So um, explain to us, because they were, they were bookie. So as you all know, Sunday was Mother's Day. Hold tight, Yama. Yeah. Went into my fridge, saw a big strawberry. Strawberry was big. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Because women love strawberries, and mums love strawberries. Oh, so that's who you're catering to? Yes. Yeah, so 70% saying... of women following Miles. Not 70. They were for you. It's gone up. It's, it's gone up. 79 now. The reason why Cardiff should get a replay against Chelsea, because of the kit Chelsea were wearing. D Dan, I don't even know if it was grey, white with yellow socks. Cardiff, ha this match, ha there has yeah, to be yeah. a recount. It has to be played again. Um, there's offside and then there's, you know, Come on. Neil Warnock, who will get in trouble, and rightly so, for, for his uh, reaction, but fuck it, do it. Yeah, man. Take, take, take the trouble, man. You're only human, cuz. Cuz you're I mean. gonna suffer at the end of the day. Yeah. Referee's still gonna be refereeing. Yeah. You're gonna get, if you get fired because of that fuckery, and it's not the first time it's happened, because last, last week, I mean, last game, they had yeah. a bad decision against them. It's been happening to Warnock for, for Sheffield United days that I watched. He's always, something goes wrong for the youth, man. Yeah, I feel so That's why he's, that, is that a toupee? What's that? That looks like Robocop. You know when Robocop takes off oh, his... Oh, he takes off his mask. Takes off his mask. He looks like Robocop. I mean, he's not too far off of flipping Steve-O's hair, is that? steve -O's was... I mean, if you type in Steve-O in Google and see his picture when he was playing for that... I think it was Illinois at the time. Wow. Yeah. It's like someone hit him with a chair 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's arches yeah. of a hairline. Oh, that hairline. Shocking. It's so all over yeah, the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. You make me and Steve-O's hairline look good. It's, it's, it's bad, man. Like, I can't slap your head, I have to cup your head. Mad too. That's mad. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that in, we're putting all that in there. You mug. R.I.P. Nipsey, man, I brought this in today for him, boy. Because you know he was a, a neighborhood cripper, he would say. Yeah. Big fan. But why did you wear that? Just to pay my respect, man. I remember, I remember Nipsey moved today, man. Big up Nipsey, I was gonna go see him in the summer. Yup. Ain't yeah. gonna get to see him anymore, but hopefully I'll see him in, in the next lifetime, boy. You're Most people legend. put it round there. Nah, I don't care. This is this is it, bro. It could be it could be anywhere. This is just for Nipsey. Come on, Crippin, man. Hey, Nipsey, bro. If I'm totally honest, you was an absolute G. Like, I can't even really say anymore. You was a proper winner. And you know what? I I remember him saying, if they come and get me, ride for me. And uh, obviously, I'm here. So I, I don't even know who I'm riding on. <laughs> but I feel like everyone should be riding. Somehow. Mm. I like to see people stand for something and have like a, an effect, not just on a community, not even just a black community, but the world. And I think that's what he was having. So for him to die at this time is terrible news. For everything he stands for, his music, and just being him being a person, man. And I can't imagine what his family's going through right now, man. In this day and age of music, where it's quite trash, the message, mm. um, he used his music to relay sick messages man in business um in health um in in in, in fashion and he was giving back and he was giving back in the block back. tenfold like you know what i mean so um the fact that um he's gone 33 years old and he was just about to do so much to the world do you know what's mad because he is an amazing role model too. yeah man everyone not even just black youths just poor people all over the world yeah. he's an amazing role model because he got he gave and he brought everyone around him his family were all part of the businesses that he built. He opened businesses and he let yeah. his family work in shops mm -hmm. and like, you know what I'm saying? He helped everyone around him. He was a community man, that's why they loved him. Old tight Nipsey, man, legend. Old tight Nipsey, man, legend. Sure gonna miss you, bruv. Shout out Lauren London, man. Yeah. Condolences to your family as well, bruv.
New Age Tupac. Out of this situation though, yeah. Miles has still made us smile. You know what I mean? Even Nipsey would be looking down like, look at this nigga, man. <laughs> like, just, <laughs> I mean, you know cool. what I mean? Now, Miles um, is, yeah, Miles he's, is, he's endearing. Yeah, he's, 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 like, Miles, like, he's an idiot. He's got Miles for that. But he's, he's like, ah, oh, idiot. Yeah. Ah, you know? oh, idiot. Jill Dando, Princess Diana, it's all the same thing, man. Yeah. Yeah, it stinks. It stinks. When you to visit. It stinks. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about his children and all of his family in Eritrea. Was that where he's from? Mm-hmm. But it's not one of the filthy fellas, so I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs>